Hey there guys, it's been almost a year since Roblox Assistant AI was first launched. I believe it was launched December of last year, so another couple of days it would be a full year. Let us now take a look and see if Roblox has improved its Assistant AI a year later. I assume that it has because a year is a long time and an AI can learn a lot of things in a year. And also another reason I believe it should be improved by now because Roblox recently Maybe a couple of weeks ago, they recommended that we go and check out their latest updated Assistant AI. They have given us a bunch of commands that we should try out. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try out those commands that were recommended to us by Roblox. And we're going to grade the Roblox AI performance a year after it was launched. So the first thing I'm going to test the AI on is to see if it can understand a script. So here I have a teleporter. Let me play test and I can show you my teleporter. So if I go and hop on the red pad here, I'm teleported to the blue pad. And I'm going to give it a few seconds and hop on the blue pad to be teleported back to the red pad. I'm now going to go to my teleporter, go to the script. I'm going to select the entire script and I'm going to click on assistant and ask the AI to explain this code. Let's take a look. Looks like it's giving me a very detailed explanation. It says this Lua script is designed to create a teleporter system in Roblox, allowing players to teleport between two paths. And then it breaks down the code. In summary, the script creates a simple teleporter system that allows players to teleport between two paths with a short cooldown period to prevent rapid teleportation. That is exactly correct. So the AI gets a 10 on this one. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this teleporter. So control D and I want to move it out. I'm going to name this teleporter two and I want to change the color of the paths. So this one, I'm going to change it to light green. And this one, I'm going to change it to green. And I'll go ahead and delete the script here and ask the AI to create a script for a teleporter. Go to the AI, insert a simple teleporter script. All right, so you can see it has inserted a script here. And let's take a look at the script. It actually looks identical to my script. So it should work, but let's give it a test just to make sure. I'm going to go and hop on the green pad and I'm teleported to the other green pad. Let's try this pad over here. All right, it worked. The only thing is I'm not going to give the AI a grade on this because it has copied my script exactly. So I don't know if it knows how to do it on its own or it's just I'm going to go and delete this script here. And I'm going to select path one here. And I'm going to ask the AI to insert a script to propel this part when touched by the player. Apparently, it gave me the script, but it didn't insert the script into the path. So I'm just going to copy this and I'll insert it in myself. So that is the script to propel the part when touched by a player. Let's play test and see if it works. I'm going to go and touch the part. It didn't do anything. All right, so this script here did not work. So we're going to give the AI a 2 out of 10 because it is a nice looking script. But unfortunately, it did not work. I'm going to delete the script here. And how about we ask? The AI to do something more simple now. I'm going to select pet 1, insert a script to kill the player on touch. You see now it inserted the script to kill the player on touch. So I think this is how it works. If it did not insert the script automatically, maybe the script wouldn't work. But in this case, I think this script should work. Let's take a look at the script first. Looks good. Let's play test and take a look. Let me close this window here. And 
I'm dead. So that worked. The AI gets a 10 on that. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to select path number two here and I'm going to change the color to a neutral color. And I'm going to go to the AI and I'm going to ask the AI to generate a new rainbow pebble material for the selected part. And there it is. So I'm just going to select one of these. Um, I'll select this one. And I'm just going to click apply rainbow pebble to path two. And there it goes. Let's play test and take a look. That does look beautiful. Wow, it looks like 3D. So this one, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. And in our final test, we're going to select all these paths. So I'm going to select path 1, path 2, path 1, path 2 from teleporter 2. And we're going to ask the AI randomize the size of selected items between 0.2 and 2 times their current size. So apparently it has executed this script here to change the size of the selected items. Let's play test one last time and take a look. So here's one. You can see this one here is very small and this one is very large. Let's check the blue. The blue is very large as well. So actually all of them are very large except for this green one right here is very small. But everything is random. So for this test, I'm also going to give the AI a 10 because it worked. And guys, those are the capabilities of the Roblox AI one year later.